What is this? Oh, 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 it's my book. There we are. Well, that was a little bit of a, a dramatic introduction, but as you can probably tell, I am very, very excited because I am doing like basically the final like read through the book. So basically like every single chapter that we've worked on and we've completed, I've obviously been going through each chapter, but this is like the second time that I've gone through the whole book and it's kind of like the last chance to make final changes and things like that. But I am, I just, I want to show you it. I want to read it to you. like. Like a flipping bedtime story, but I can't. But I'm, I'm honestly like so excited. I am incredibly excited. Um, I've worked very hard on this, and um, there is a lot about my life in it, but obviously it is a fiction. But the bits that are about my life, it's kind of a bit of an Easter egg for you guys to like work out what is my life and what is not. But yeah, it is really exciting, and I do actually have a little announcement to make. So when I first released the book on Amazon, I had like 2,100 limited edition copies, and they sold out so fast, it was just unbelievable. We had to like release the general standard copy, which is not signed of the book straight away. So I was talking to my book publishers the other day, and I was like, right, what can we do that we can like give more of an exclusive book, which is only like a limited number that like people can get because obviously the Amazon one sold out so fast and there's loads of people that still want to get like more limited edition copies. So we've come up with this. So there is going to be a special edition Generation Next book exclusively for Waterstones. And in this book, there is gonna be loads of bonus content. This includes character information, some pages from their yearbook, and loads, loads more, but that's a secret, so I, I can't tell you yet. So if you wanna get the Waterstones special edition, then I suggest you go right now, or at the end of this video, to the link in the description and pre-order it, because it is gonna go so fast um, yeah, good luck, and I, uh, I hope you get one. Oh, I just can't wait to blimmin- Ah! You know what? Stuff it, I'm gonna read you the first page. Oh my god! Right, are you ready for this? Get comfortable, because you are about to go on a ride of your lifetime. Chapter one. The- I can't believe I'm doing this! Sorry, sorry, I'm ruining, I'm ruining. Chapter one. The interview. Beverly Hills, California, August 2015. It's just after 11.30 a.m. by the time the limo drops us off outside the Four Seasons Hotel. I feel tired, kind of, but somehow wide awake at the same time. It's like there's a weird buzzing in my head, but I'm trying my best to ignore it and stay calm, just so I can retain a tiny silver of call in what feels like a totally mad situation. It's not easy, you know. I bet you couldn't do it. In fact, I bet most 17-year-olds in my shoes right now would be all over the place, just like I am. But then again, how are you supposed to behave when you're only a couple of hours away from the most important moment in your life and everything is falling apart? How are you meant to stay calm when the stakes are so high? What do you even tell yourself at a time like this? Just keep it simple, I guess. My name is Jack Penman, and I've just arrived at the Four Seasons Hotel in Los Angeles, California. It's as easy as that. The rest can wait. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, right, so that is like, th that's not even, yeah, that's not even the first page, that is like literally a, a brief, brief chunk, and that hopefully kind of gives you a little sense of um, what it's about and what's to come, and yeah, I'm like, honestly, I am so, so excited for this, I'm incredibly excited, like, I've really poured my heart and my soul onto this, and I think it's going to be great. I really, really do, and I hope you love it. So, um, I hope you're excited as I am, and yeah, let's continue this vlog. We have a package! I tell you what, I love getting parcels. It's always so exciting, you never know what it's gonna be, do you? I mean, you should know what it is, because you've ordered it, but still, it's still exciting. Ooh. Right. Oh! This is just what I wanted! Another cardboard! <laughs> is this it? I don't know whether this is it or not. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh! Wow, we've even got Velcro on the bloody cardboard. Oh, here we are! You guys know... <laughs> you guys have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's just cardboard! Oh! All will be revealed in a minute. Today, get ready for it, right? 
We are making a flipping home cinema <laughs> out of a box. That is right, look, we've even got people. These are our audience, so we're not gonna feel lonely, but you know, who needs a TV when you can use your iPhone and a cardboard box to make a cinema? I can't even remember the reason why I bought this, but I just thought it was cool. Right, so what we gotta do, we gotta assemble. How do we assemble? Right, let's move this, move that out of the way. This is, this is what we need right here. Oh, wait, hold on, that's not right. That looks like an iPad mini. Is that right? It's just, it just won't work. What does the fixing band do? Does the fixing band go from one? What? Oh no, this band's not gonna go in there. It's gonna go across. So this is the bit I'm stuck on, right? It says fasten to the body. But it doesn't make any sense because look, look at this. Wait, hold on. Let me just take this bloody thing on the bottom off. There is nothing to fasten. Look, we've got a sticky thing this side and this side, but they're both the, the same, so they can't stick together. But how is that meant to be fastened? Now I've got to attach the audience members um, to here. So one Velcro strip. There. And then, the, oh, for God's sake, I can't do this while I'm filming actually bloody done it. So what they didn't say, they say fasten to the body. This is the flipping body, right? I did not realize. Look, it looks like it's just closed because the, yeah, the Velcro is there. So I apologize, Mr. Box. I, I was very wrong. Oh my God, now we can watch a movie. Right, we got to put this in the phone. I'm going in. What are we going to watch? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is bloody amazing. This is amazing. Oh no, I need to... Oh god. Ow! Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, my ear! Oh god! Oh, oh. Right, I'm watching Joe and Casper hit the road. Let's see if this works. Oh my god, this is amazing. Casper, what are you doing? This is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put you in the... I'm gonna put you in there and see what you think. Look at this, ready? <laughs> right, you can see it, and then you can see that, you won't be able to see, but there's like little people here. Look, 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 you see? <laughs> it's amazing! I've just made a home cinema. I mean, I could just watch it on the TV over there or my laptop, but you know, we've, we've made a home cinema. Oh, look who it is, Marcus Butler in his prime. Repping the Adidas top. We've just played a, um, we've just done a game for Marcus's channel. We've a we're actually collabing. We Can are. you believe it or not? We've been friends for like three, yeah, three or four years or something and we've, we're finally doing something. So um, it's now time for my video. And um, if you guys have seen like the Getting Wet series, I know it sounds a bit dodgy, we basically but- basically piss on each other. No, we don't! <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're, we're gonna be doing that. So I need to basically put a paddling pool here so I don't get the floor filthy. So I've gotta, gotta set that up. Look who's come to visit! Whoa. It's Casper Lee! Yeah, God, I'm, getting, I'm getting all the YouTubers over today. God, finally they wanna come and say hello to me. so close to me. Have you told them yet? No. no. <laughs> you'll see, you'll know tomorrow, guys. Well, you won't know tomorrow, but yeah. Well, no, you kind of will. But me and Casper aren't living together, if that's what you're thinking. So don't think that I couldn't could never live with this guy. Look at his haircut. <laughs> right. Um, so we're going to Joe's now um, because he wants us to come and film today. Well, I've been like collaborating with everyone recently. I filmed with Joe yesterday. Uh, How did you film with him? Uh, oh, I, well, I filmed something for his channel yesterday. Then I filmed something for my channel yesterday. I filmed with Marcus today, and now me and Casper are going to film with Joe again. This is blooming like collab heaven at the moment. Um, anyway, I need my keys. Where are my keys? Oh no. Hi. Sweet Oh, we're getting closer on your face. Oh, no. Even more zoomed in. Oh, we're right on the nose now. Right, look who else has come over. It's my me. God. Hi. It's, it's Joe. Me. I've had Marcus here, I've had Casper here, now bloody Joe. I, feel like I can smell something. Yeah, it's that's like Casper. Stale. Something stale. Oh no, he's probably left a, left a plop in the toilet, hasn't he? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that word 
ages. A plop. I used to call it a plop. A plop plop when I was younger. Really? Daddy, I need to go plop plop. <laughs> I need a poo. Um, yeah, this is still looking messy. Uh, Joe and I, we just filmed like um, a little video thing promoting our book at some kind of conference where loads of professionals and businessmen are going to see. So we had to be very professional. Right, we're going to get some food now because I haven't eaten and it's about 10 o'clock. And then I've got to come back and I'm filming like... I've got so many things to film and edit tonight. I'm I'm pretty stressed. Right. Well, there we are. I'm now I'm now lying on a snazzy. Look at this snazzy pillow. Bloody snazzy. Um anyway, today's vlog has kind of been a bit all over the place. Um but that's kind of how I expected because I really wanted to obviously let you know about my book and then I decided like flip it. Let's just read a a paragraph and then um yeah i've just been like kind of filming here and there because i've been doing loads today i've actually had so much to do i'm obviously got so much work on with my book and then i've got to keep up my main channel videos my vlogs and i'm going to new york next week i've just come back from la so there's so many things to catch up on um so yeah Today was actually really productive. I filmed a video with Marcus, which was fun. Um, Casper came over, we hung out for a bit, and then we went and filmed with Joe, so that was good. And then I filmed something else with Joe, which was for like a conference thing for the book. So everything's going really well. Really, really well. And it's exciting. Very, very exciting. But I'm gonna go to bed, because it's now like 2 a.m. And I, I've had like a lot of lack of sleep recently, and I think I'm still jet lagged. I think I'm still jet lagged, because I have no idea what my body time zone is on at the moment but my head time zone is like ollie you need to go to bed so anyway i hope you enjoyed the vlog and uh, if you did then give it a massive thumbs up um leave a comment below saying sausages <laughs> and um i will see you next time goodbye i don't know why i said say sausages anyway goodbye